the importance of quality publishing in the current academic world, especially when it comes to the open access publishing phenomenon which Dr. Mohit Gag in his first session delivered upon. The findings of the research that we as researchers try to publish, they need to be communicated and disseminated to the global audiences in a more impactful way. We are aware of buzzwords like Google Scholar, Web of Science, or even Scopus, or even the Vidwan portal that recently has been just launched by the Inflebnet. But while consolidating the research data of a particular researcher, we many a times fail. Furthermore, we as scholars always find our research output scattered here and there, which negatively impacts our research recognition. This not only tarnishes our academic recognition as a researcher, neither our impact gets enhanced, but it also negatively impacts the accreditation of our universities. So at times we see our institutions doing excellently because we know that many of the researchers, Dr. Ijaz or Dr. Mubashir, Dr. Shandavas, or even our Professor Nilofar Khan ma'am. So we are doing excellently in the field of research as a university and as an institution. But uh, due to the lack of awareness about the emerging tools and technologies, we don't get that recognition as an institution. Also in our institutions, we talk about, in fact, I just talk about my own university. We publish best of the research in the form of our departmental journals. But uh, we are extremely unaware about the technical platforms whereby we can launch our departmental journals on a platform which will give our research, the indigenous research, a global recognition. So in order to achieve that global acknowledgement in our research domains, we have to imagine that our university should adopt some platform that will give a boost to our research. Now imagine that our universities that are publishing articles and issues online through their departmental journals and having them fully indexed to the global discovery services like Google Scholar, Crossref or even Dodge and many others. That will try to bring our university to new academic research heights if we adopt a platform that will surely give a technological boost to our research there. So today's workshop is drafted to resolve all the issues that we as researchers face. The expert will train the participants on how to manage their entire research to reader workflow from submission, peer review and production from one place with open journal system which is one of the most widely used journal systems that inshallah our department has initiated that process with Central Library IIT Delhi. So we will be just tying up with other departments so that all the departmental journals will find a common platform and we as a department will act as a nodal point to all the departments so that the departmental journals will be unified as one common platform. I am sure uh, all our, uh, you know, beneficiaries who are sitting here, all our participants, students, research scholars will be benefited by it. We all, uh, you know, realize and recognize the need of uh, digital world today. I think everything is defunct if we do not you know, uh, update ourselves, train ourselves uh, as per the digital uh, requirement technology. Uh, we cannot compete. We cannot compete not only uh, in with our own institutions around, we cannot co compete at country level and we cannot compete, of course, at the global level. So I am happy that this initiative is being taken and as you were saying that, you know, the further roadmap is uh, you know, uh, how to move forward, definitely I would look at it. I would definitely look at the recommendations, uh, you know, in a due course of time, what through this workshop we intend to achieve so that it should not, you know, stop over here only because then, uh, you know, the exercise becomes futile. It should definitely have the next step instead of starting a new thing. Let's have next step, what we want to achieve, you know, next. I always say that Department of Library Science is one of the important departments in the university. Just now we had the 46th International Conference of uh, Linguistic Society. Uh, we had around 170 participants from other parts of the country. We had few international, uh, you know, participants. So I was so happy to see how this field is also emerging now. It has, you know, wonders we can do in linguistics also, how we can be get globally connected. 
I think so is library science. Library science can, you know, uh, I should say, uh, have its uh, feet in every uh, specialization because it's connected. It's so much, uh, you know, connected. So I definitely would look at it, have a roadmap and how this, uh, you know, your department are, can contribute first to our own institution, to our affiliated colleges, I said schools and, uh, you know, in the policy uh, making scenario also. Thank you very much. So ORCID, which lies at the heart of today's workshop, its role in academia cannot be overstated. Researchers are often uh, burdened with managing publications and academic output scattered across different platforms and sources. While some research uh, outputs are indexed in popular databases like Scopus and Web of Science, a significant amount of academic publishing occurs outside of these major indexing platforms. Many valuable contribution, especially from emerging fields, uh, local research output, and non-traditional publishing avenues remain unindexed in these databases making it challenges for researchers to manage and showcase their full body of the work. This fragmentation not only makes it difficult for the researchers to track their academic contribution, but also limit their visibility in the broaderly scholarly community and complicate the institutional assessment. With an ORC ID, a researcher have a single persistent identifier like we have Aadhaar that connects all their academic work, publication, data set, conference proceeding and more under one roof. ORCID simplifies the entire process allowing seamless integration across various research systems and this isn't just a beneficial for institution during academic assessment which is a kind of a routine for our institution, means all the academic institution but also for researchers themselves. Having all academic outputs consolidated in one place is invaluable for career progression, recruitment and funding application. The hands-on session with ORCID API later in the workshop will offer participants practical insight into how to harness this powerful tool for their own research management. When researchers fully integrate ORCID into their academic life, they will no longer need to manually track their outputs, ensuring their scholarly contributions are visible and correctly attributed at all times. Additionally, this workshop will also focus on open access publishing, its advantages, the increasing challenges of predatory publishing strategy to safeguard the research integrity.